What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the Walking Dead event that's going to be coming soon to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. Surprisingly, it's a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. It features brand new operators, brand new DLC weapons, a new event reward, and so much more. And in this video, I'm going to be covering all the details that we know about this event so far. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the whole thing. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel and would always like to stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. But without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's jump into it. If you take a look at the past roadmap that we got for Call of Duty starting even with MW2 you notice that every single season there would be some sort of a crossover collaboration they usually would start off small they wouldn't introduce any massive event anything large it would just be a brand new operator that would appear in the store that you would have a chance to purchase and it was usually around the mid-season update but then towards the end of Modern Warfare 2 they started collabing them into bigger things for example events with the original boys event that we saw then with Spawn featuring him in the Battle Pass, an entire haunting event. And with the launch of Modern Warfare 3, they introduced a new event system to where every single time a new Operator bundle would come in that is, I guess, a special one, a collaboration, a crossover, it would feature some sort of an event which you would need to get XP. Those would be the minor ones. And then you have the bigger ones like the boys event that's going to be taking place in the mid-season update that would feature a new LTM, brand new modes, the new operators, and so much more. It's no surprise that with the next update that we're going to get after season one reloaded, we are going to be seeing yet another crossover and it has already been leaked and that is The Walking Dead. We talked about this a couple months ago, but at the time we didn't really have any information. It was just strings in the files that leakers would go in there and read. There weren't really any photos, any more descriptions. And when it did leak, it was shortly after the release of Modern Warfare 3, so before the Season 1 update. In those strings, there was a total of six operators that were mentioned. The first one was Paul Atreides. The second one was Fade Rotha. Those ended up coming in with the Dune collaboration in Part 1 of Season 1. Then the other two were A-Train as well as Firecracker, and those are upcoming in the mid-season update and have been confirmed by Call of Duty. And the final operators that were mentioned in those strings as well is Rick Grimes and Michonne and if you take a look at the release dates of these collaborations they're usually tied to the big project that's releasing for example Dune Part 2 the movie was coming out at that time so they ended up dropping the collab season 4 of the boys is going to be dropping sometime soon that's why they're doing the collab with them and when you take a look at The Walking Dead there's actually a new show releasing called The Ones Who Live and that is going to be releasing on February 25th that will be just a couple weeks after the launch of the season 2 update it's speculated that we're getting that on February 7th and then just a couple weeks later, this will be releasing. And it makes sense because around the mid-season update of a season is when we usually see the big crossover events happen. So you can expect the date of this event to go live with the season two reloaded update. Now, all the information that I've shared with you so far is what previously leaked before the season one update went live. Once we got that update, there was actually more information and some weapons that seem to be tied to this event. So when you take a look here, Bob Network ended up posting this. He said, I have been told that Modern Warfare 3 will have a sword and a bow added to the game, the former of which has now been found in the files, which is ME, which is melee underscore S whiskey. They are likely coming in season two and similar weapons also set to be coming. And this is the model of the sword that we have. And then the second weapon is going to be a bow. Cod Warfare tweeted out, he said, it's more likely going to be like a compound bow. And then he later quoted it and said, it seems like the recurve bow is actually going to be the one that they're mentioning and using in the files. And it's very similar to the one that we got with Black Ops Cold War, which is the photo that you see here. Ended up posting a photo showing the strings in the files. And it says in them, I can't really show you the photo because of copyright purposes, but it says season two. And then it features different ammo types for the arrow and there's different types like a standard arrowhead then you have a shotgun variant of it then you have an explosive one and there's just a bunch of different types of them that are going to be available so not only are they bringing in the bow they're also bringing in ammo types and these are not futuristic or modern type of weapons these are more weapons that were used in the show the walking dead so a bow was used multiple times in the show here's just a couple photos showcasing that so you can expect it to be like a recurve type of bow it's not going to be one of those like futuristic looking ones it's not going to be a crossbow because we already have that in the game and then the second thing is going to be a sword that is something that michonne uses a lot that also makes sense for why that would be an upcoming weapon as well and then we know with rick grimes his popular weapon of choice is the python and i believe that's probably just going to end up being a weapon blueprint for the tyr because we already have weapons that are very similar to that in the game which is why i think that weapon is not mentioned here at all and i also do want to clarify that this crossover is not necessarily with the walking dead entire universe 
but it's actually with the show The Ones Who Live, which the main characters and the only ones I believe who appear from the original one is going to be Rick Grimes and Michonne, which is why they are the upcoming operators. So for those of you guys who wanted to see Daryl or you wanted to see Shane or you wanted to see Negan, all these popular characters that were in the original show are unfortunately not going to be available. So I just wanted to let you know that these are going to be the two operators that we are going to see. Now, obviously, with crossover collaborations, there's always some type of event that's involved, especially with the way that Modern Warfare 3 has been doing things. There's two different ways that we can expect this event to come out the first way is the standard xp event where there's a certain amount of xp that you'll need to gain and all you have to do is simply play the game exactly like it is with the vortex event as long as you continuously play the game you'll be able to generate xp and this xp will in turn give you different types of rewards depending on how massive it is it could take up to 1 million xp just like we saw with the magma camel reward or it can go the other way where there's going to be challenges involved and each challenge that you complete will get you a different reward once you complete all the challenges there will be a mastery reward that you'll be able to unlock sort of like the Cadmus event and the upcoming boys event it is too early to tell as of right now no challenges have been revealed for this event no big event has been mentioned at all so this is more than likely going to be releasing maybe with the season 2 update maybe with the reloaded update we'll get more information in the files but remember we are still around 2 to 3 updates away from this massive event so there's still a lot of unfinished components that they are yet to add we still don't even know what the operators look like although they're mentioned there's no photos of them so what version of rick grimes are they going to use what is he going to be wearing how's he going to look same with michonne what's her weapon blueprint going to look like what tracer effects will they have what finishing moves are they going to have none of that has been revealed that usually will start coming out once we get a little bit closer to the update and if there is an event we'll know exactly what the event will entail and what's going to be going on but as of right now because nothing has been officially confirmed by call of duty take everything with a grain of salt we never know something could go wrong with this they could end up canceling it they could end up delaying it it may end up being something that was completely scrapped we never know until call of duty officially announces it in a roadmap or in some sort of a blog post and because we don't have enough information it can also be introduced in a completely different way for example the spawn originally when that was leaked we thought he was going to be an operator bundle that was going to be coming into the store and he ended up being a part of the battle pass and they themed an entire battle pass around that so there's the likely possibility that they could do something that big since we already have two operators and two weapons already being revealed then that's pretty much the majority of the battle pass when it comes to content there's always usually two different weapons and two main operators or at least one main operator and the rest of it consists of different content and cosmetics of existing operator skins that we have in the game so they could do something like that and turn it into an entire battle pass that could be the reason for why there aren't really challenges or rewards that have been leaked so far but we will get a little bit more information on this once the mid-season update comes around it will be a pretty big update Update, and once we download that leakers usually go into the files to leak everything for their mid-season update and call of duty what they like to do is prepare early in advance for upcoming content that's going to be scheduled and they usually put stuff in the files and that can also end up getting leaked and when it does i'll always cover it here on the channel for you guys so definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not yet sub anyways this is everything that you need to know in regards to the walking dead crossover all the information that we are able to find as of right now but it's been your boy Chido. thank you guys for tuning in and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.